Hey there YouTube, Mr. Fedor Man here, back again with the next part of Let's Play Mario & Luigi The Superstar Saga. So, in the last episode we got the membership card, so now, oops, going the wrong way. Now we've got to find the hold, because now that we have the membership, we can actually gain access to the hold. This is not the hold, is it? No, it is not. I don't remember this place very well. Not like I need to, though. You don't, uh... Oh, wait, no. You don't... Uh, you don't stay in here very often. If you come back here through the captain's cabin, you can find some stuff. One up mushroom. Oop. Some coinage. Can't remember what else is here. Um, freshening herb and some coins. Cool. We get out of here. Should take me a second to realize where I'm going here. Okay, it's a rally block. God damn it. I'm going the wrong way again. Um, la, oh, this is the hold. Damn it. Oh, look at that. You got a membership card right there. Whoa. Now that I know, I ought to be able to remember you by sight from now on. Oh, well, that's rather convenient. So, oh, there's the dude. Bringing this sparkly thing to hold was a good idea, but where do we put it? Hey, man. How's it going? Can we have that back? You know, it's kind of important. Whoa, was that? You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the bean star? Oh, yeah. Sure is. You say you two came here looking for it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Hmm, really, you want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you. But I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch. I can't just give it to you for free. Oh, come on, man. You gonna cut me a deal? Just get that guy blowed off the wall up ahead. Then I'll give this sparkly thing to you guys. Those are the, you know, conditions of the trade. Oh, wow. Um, wee burp! This Chocola Cola fizz seeps right into your bones. Brrrr. Hick, don't you guys want to join me for some refreshing cola? Hick, brrrr. So, yeah, very gross man there. Oh, used to be man. Come on, come on, have a look. Come see the pathetically inflated man bloat. He drank so much Chocola Cola that he got stuck in this crack. Plus, he forgot where he left the bombs for blowing up walls. Can nothing be done? Can't poor bloat escape his fate? Well, actually, I know very much where the uh, the uh, bombs are. So what you want to do is you want to go up a floor to above where he is, and you'll see they have this hatch here, or this little thing. We just applied some emergency cleaner to that stinking old floor, so don't go uh, boinging around on it. So we, we could, but you want to hammer it. There you go. And drop some dynamite there. And then you just come back. And of course, how are we supposed to light dynamite other than by using f the power of fire? So that's exactly what we are going to do. Ta-da! There you go, he's free! Free! Um... Oh shit! Well, I guess we did kind of do something bad there, didn't we? <laughs> this is not good. What, the ship's moving? Oh, damn. Blah? What's going on here? C Captain, it's the ocean. It's an actual ocean. Oh, is the SS Chocola finally afloat once more? I love this part. <laughs> but, yes. We end up on the bottom of the ocean floor. Hey, there's the Beanstar piece. Where's it going? Well, that's the end for the SS Chocola. A watery grave. <sighs> so we have gotta... Oh, probably would help if I switch back to jump. We have gotta somehow get up here. And then swim on over here. Because we've got to chase after that Beanstar piece. Well, this is what I mean. This first piece is the most annoying to get. Because it goes from one area to another area. So we've completed one area, but now we need to do a bigger main area to get it. So it kind of sucks, but we get lots of levels and experience out of it. And it turns out to be heading that way, but we have to do something before we can actually open that little panel thing so we can get down there. So you want to swim across here, and it says detour to Guajar Lagoon. 
So, apparently we are heading off to Guajar Lagoon, but we've got to do some stuff like... Luigi! <gasps> that was close. Like light torches. Because I think if any of the bros touch that, you got to start back at the beginning of the room. And, luckily, that opens it up. So, we're good to go. I forgot what... Wow, like a battle away from leveling up. That's crazy, though. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try getting some levels in Guajar Lagoons. Or, Lagoons? Lagoon? Because there's actually uh, quite a... There's a certain enemy that I'll bring into mention here. Oh! And I do not like these cheap cheeps or these starfish, so I'm gonna try and avoid them. If you go up here, there is a little something down here. Oh, it's a Hoobin. Are you serious? Okay, well, we gotta swim back over this way and not get hit. These things are very annoying. And we can't get past that yellow seaweed looking stuff, so we gotta make Mario small so that he can fit into this hole right here. Now, I don't know why there's a fire there. I can't remember. I think it's just kind of a hint. It's telling you fire. It's over here, I believe. Yes. And since I already looked at that other area, you already know where you're going to be going. Oh, and there's something I want to bring up here, actually. That just showed up there. Now when you're... Oh, thanks, Luigi. Uh, that's not what I exactly wanted. But when you're small Mario, you'll be sensitive to finding things. Now, if you get an exclamation mark, like, like just like this, that means there's something nearby. And this means you're right there. So... If you switch to Luigi and then hit the ground, you can get beans. So, it's pretty cool like that. That's kind of annoying trying to find them, though. So, I don't really advise doing it. Unless, however, you want lots of chocola be er, chocola? Chuckle beans. Which I really don't. I mean, it's just leveling, really. You don't really need to get the drinks, but it does help. So, Guajar Lagoon is over here. What's over in this direction? I can't remember. N nothing. So I guess we'll uh, head on up here. Ah, we don't need to save. We will save when we get further in this area. They do put a lot of saves in this game in certain areas. I guess they want to ensure that you don't get uh, that you don't mess things up. Or if you want to go back to a certain point, you can. But we have reached Guajar Laguna. Get used to this music because we are going to be hearing this music for the rest of this area. We have reached the save. I think I'm going to save. I'll keep going. It's only like eight minutes in. We still have some time to do stuff. Hmm. Cross Beach. Hey, have you heard those rumors about Prince Beasley? Boy, I have, let me tell you, he's running around hunting high and low for something. Yeah, the young prince is in a pickle, and that's no lie. I wonder if he'll come this way. Uh, nope. What's con- what the hell? You, move it! Oh shit! Where'd Luigi go? You've got to hear this. I'm back with you, Mung- You monstrous? I'm back with you, monstrous news, and incredibly rumors. That's a bit strange sounding. Oh, is it about that strange looking shiny bean thing that fell from the sky? Wait, is that the one everyone is saying Hermie found? Hey, we need to get that. That must be the piece of the bean star. Yeah, the same. Hermie took that bean thing and decorated his shell with it. That's the word, anyway. I hear he looks just like a festive holiday tree. That's a bit strange in a desert. Or desert in a, like a beachy lagoon area. Wow, crazy cool. We really should go take a look at it. Yeah, that's a fantabulous idea. Let's do it. Wow. If you do just lie there all day, you'll get wicked sunburned. Oh boy, yeah. That would be crazy. So, little uh, information finding. You've now got to find Hermie. The Jellyfish Sisters Relaxation Room. I mean, why not? Let's go there. We, we, we're, we're, uh, heroes of the land many a uh, many time we should be able to relax whenever we damn well feel like it and I'm concentrating on this block mainly cuz I want to get as 
many coins as I can, but honestly, I did not do too well at that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, that should be, uh, that'll be enough money. So, let us save here. Let's just get a little bit more information before we uh, end the episode here in the relaxation room. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Welcome, travelers. This is the relaxation room where we ease your weary body and spirit. Our massage masters use their miracle hands to give you a gentle, calming massage. 100 coins gets one individual a thorough, if brief, rub down. For the both of you, it'd only be 200 coins. What do you say? No thanks, not for now. It's not healthy to let stress build up, you know. Let's talk to these people. The miracle hand massage of the tickle technicians Gigi and Mary is incredible. But words don't do it justice, you must experience it. What's this guy gotta say? Sirs, you're after Gigi and Mary, aren't you? Um, thank you for that. There's a picture of a hand. Uh, there happens to be a sign here. Come on, can I... 30 minutes is 100 coins per person. Damn. And then there's... Well, this looks like it was obviously made for us. A green chair and a red chair. Well, that's where we're going to end it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to get a massage. And that looks a little suspicious, so maybe something will happen. I have no idea. We will find out in the next episode. So, I thank you very much for watching, and this is Mr. Fedora Man, signing out. Bye!